Today we are making a video on Rosa Linux 12.4. Here is the boot menu of Rosa Linux. First you need to choose your language. I am choosing English. And we have options at the bottom which is E for edit entry, C for console, enter for boot entry and escape for back. Let's click on enter for English. And here we have some more options like a start and install Rosa Linux live. It is a live, a live mode or a live media or a live edition. Uh, this is to install a Rosa Linux 12.4 directly from here. And this is for troubleshooting. Uh, and this is for the uh, language selection again, which will take back. And this is for reboot. Let's try to uh, try to launch uh, in a live mode, which is start and install Rosa Linux live. It's going to take a few seconds, a maximum of a minute or minimum of 20 to 30 seconds. Here you have press enter to see video modes available, space to continue or wait 30 seconds. Let's uh, click in space to continue or it may take a few seconds to load up. So let's wait for it. It should take a minimum of uh, 20 to 30 seconds or a maximum of a minute so let's wait for a few seconds and I'm going to say how much time it took uh, no no things needed it automatically booted let's wait the loading is going and I forgot to mention that I'm running it on a virtual machine uh, or a VMware you can call it uh, with a 40 GB of hard disk and a 4 GB of RAM and with two processors running I think uh, the loading is almost done. Uh, we, we may see the desktop right now. In a few seconds, here is our mouse pointer working perfectly with a smooth. Uh, and here is our logo of Rosa Linux, which is KDE Plasma desktop environment. As you can see, the KDE Plasma uh, logo and uh, Plasma made by KDE. It may take like a, a few more seconds or a couple of seconds to load. And here we have our desktop of uh, Rosa Linux 12.4. Let's first change the display resolution. It automatically changed my display resolution because I'm uh, running on a virtual machine, which is a VMware. If you need to change the display resolution, you already know in the KDE desktop environment, type in display and you will be having here a display settings. Uh, if you install it on a hard disk, so you need to change the resolution, it automatically doesn't change. You need to go to display configuration and change your uh, desired or uh, preferred uh, uh, resolution. If you can't see the text or a font size, you can change the global scale up to I think 300%. And you can click on apply and uh, you need to reboot or uh, you, you can either uh, log out and log in. You'll having a uh, uh, maximized or uh, doubled size of uh, fonts and text for 1920 into 1080 uh, 150 percent is should be uh, good so let's go back and check the about the system if it's available here is the about the system rosa fresh desktop 2021.1 and a kde plasma version 5.25.5 which is the old version the latest version is 5.27.4 i guess and KDE Frameworks uh, latest version should be 5.104 but we have 5.99 and Qt version is 5.15.5 and kernel version is the latest version almost the latest not the latest 6.1.20 generic to rosa 2021.1 and a graphics platform is x11 and here are my CPU or a hardware info few hardware info let's try to launch the system monitor first It should be in uh, tools, I guess. We have a system monitor here. First, we need to launch the system monitor before uh, launching any apps because we need to know how much uh, resources are consumed uh, before uh, opening any apps. The RAM is almost uh, 1.5 GB of uh, 4 GB. RAM is a uh, maximum and uh, as you can see, CPU is also on our top with the high peaks. Let's check the applications running right now. Uh, just a system monitor. On the history side, you have a graph of uh, a CPU and a physical memory. 
there is almost a high peak around uh, at the beginning as you can see almost up to like uh, 15 to 20 seconds there was a high peak of graph here but now it settled down to low which is almost uh, under the 15 percent as you can see a 15 10 percent like that and the ram is almost a 1.4 gb which is too much uh, uh, it's not for a low-end PC because uh, without running any apps, it's almost a 1.4 GB and after a few, uh, few uh, uh, opening the few apps, it should take like uh, around 1.7 or a 2 GB and uh, low-end PCs uh, will, have, will be having like a 2 GB of RAM uh, maximum or minimum and the processor should be like a Pentium so it should be laggy, it should be laggy on the uh, low-end PC in my opinion, I don't know properly but it should be laggy because it's almost a 1.4 GB as you can see and the processors running right now are here as you can see these are all the processors running right now so let's check the version about the system monitor 5.25.5 let's open the terminal for some distro info uh, terminal of uh, uh, KDE Plasma should be uh, with the name of console Let's check the uh, info or uh, about the console 21.12.3 which is common uh, version. Let's type in few commands like uh, inxi-sv8. We should be having sudo dnf install inx. I think we should try to install uh, the inxi first. Let's try to install click Y to install and N for no Y for yes and N for no it should take a minute uh, not a minute uh, 10 let's uh, try it how much time it takes maybe uh, 30 seconds maybe it's almost complete I guess uh, instead of waiting let's see the desktop features oh, it's almost complete Let's put in some command like inxi-sv8. I hope this works now. Here is our full info of the distro. Let's scroll upside and check the info. And the host is to Rosa 2021.1 and the kernel is 6.1.20. And uh, it, it is a 64 bit as you can see here. And GCC version is 11.2.0. Let's scroll down. Qt version is 5.15.5, Kvin X11 VT2, and KDE Plasma version is 5.25.5, which I already said, and GDM version is 42.0. Distro is Rosa Fresh Desktop 12.4, and a release is 2021.1 for 64 bit. I'm running it on a VMware, so it shows a VMware. Uh, this is my RAM, which I already said and showed. Phenoix version of BIOS 6.0.0 and this is my processor 12th gen i5 and here are some display resolutions available XVLand version is 22.1.7 uh, and XSorge version is 1.20.14 let's scroll it down we should see some more info here are some info if you want you can stop the or pause the video and you can watch it INXI version is 3.3.21 bash version is 5.1.16 processors running right now is 267 and uptime is 6 minutes system D version 249 let's type in few more commands like INXI just INXI we should be having some info let's type in INXI dash small b and here is some info also inxi dash capital G and hit enter here are some info and let's type in cat fallen slash etc fallen slash issue here is some info and let's type in finally head stop if it's horrible head stop is also pre-installed and the memory is going up to 750 MB of 3.83 GB and here are the CPUs, tasks are 75. I think that's it. Let's close this thing. And let me show you how to uh, go to their website or uh, download 
from their website and then we will go to the installation process after uh, uh, showing you how to download uh, we have a chrome browser by default for a, a version of uh, triple 1.0 rosa linux uh, provides uh, the chrome browser which is chromium as you can see and rosa 2021.1 Let's go to the official website of Rosa Linux by typing Rosa Linux and I am I'm using a VPN so sometimes we it will trigger the Google I think there should be a website this is a website I guess it's not a website let's try to find their website Uh, Wikipedia should be providing their website. 12.1. Let's try to see their website. Let's go to DistroWatch. DistroWatch should be having their official website, which will be. Uh, this is the one. Which is uh, rosalinux.ru because it's a uh, Russian. You can change these languages here. Let's close the distro watch. It's taking a lot of time, maybe because of uh, a lot of RAM usage. Let's close the thing. Let's change the language to English. Rosa Chrome 12. These are some few info. If you want, you can uh, check that out. Let's uh, find the download. Click on install. And here we have all the available versions, which is GNOME, LXQT, LXQT 64 bit, 32 bits, XFC, and server version. Uh, version with the plasma file. You can choose anything you want. Uh, these are all the available things. Um, I choose the KDE plasma one, this one. Uh, you can change any desktop environment you can like uh, LXQT should be uh, lightweight and it's also available in a six, uh, 34 bit, 32 bit and a 64 bit uh, for low-end PC you, you may go to the 32 bit LXQT or you can select any version you want there and here is our download which is for uh, 2.8 GB of uh, file size let's close this thing Let's close the browser and let's go with the installation process. I'm going to show you the formality of installation. I'm not going to install it because uh, I don't want to. It may take a few seconds, like uh, 20 seconds or maximum, I guess, which is common in every Linux distro. These are the some desktop features. We have Anaconda installer. Let's first go to the installation process which is uh, similar to uh, uh, Fedora style uh, because it's also an Anaconda installer first you need to choose your language choose any language if you want I'm choosing English there are some available languages here and this is the uh, keyboard or uh, English United States I'm going to choose English United States click on continue you can choose anything you want in English and here are our uh, installation process after finishing this uh, you will be uh, having a highlighted of a begin installation button here first a keyboard english united states i'm happy with it i'm going with the english united states and installation destination a 40 gb of hard disk in my vmware so it's going to show 40 gb here and after uh, everything runs good the red highlighted thing goes and a, a black uh, will be available or black colored uh, section or a black colored text will be seen after uh, everything is proper you need to choose your username and password for here for the installation i'm choosing runboxing you can you may choose anything you want there is no need to provide your actual name or original name choose anything you want if you want you can give simple password or a strong password 
I recommend you give you a give a strong password always because I'm running it in a uh, VMware and I'm just uh, making a video and then I'm deleting this VMware uh, thing so it's up to you you need to provide a strong password for your safety for the sake of video I'm not using the strong password and next you need to choose your time and date and the location I'm choosing Los Angeles America you can choose anything you want there's no problem here you can choose anything you want any country you want like uh, Australia New Zealand Canada anything you want I'm choosing the Los Angeles and click on done everything runs uh, or works perfectly uh, wired is connected so let's leave like that and root password if you want to provide a root password you can give it or just click on done and you can see the begin installation got highlighted with a, a dark blue color after clicking on begin installation it's made it may take like a 20 to uh, 30 minutes of maximum or maybe like a 10 minutes or a 5 minutes of minimum uh, it depends on your Linux distro or a PC or system requirements all those things uh, it depends on that things so let's quit it that was the process of installation after installation it's going to say uh, the installation is finished you need to reboot your system so you will be having a, a Rosa Linux 12.4 installed on your hard disk so that's the installation process let's check the desktop features like a uh, uh, time and date this is sleep mode suspend ram show hidden icons i think we uh, we have a bug i guess here is a black screen let's wait for a few seconds i don't know what happened it automatically closed maybe the linux distro crashed i don't know let's try to find what happened let's wait for a few more seconds and see it suddenly crashed i don't know what happened there is a black screen around here so let me try to close the uh, Rosa Linux and try to reboot it again click on VMware play we should be having our Linux distro here let's choose English again and try to start and install Rosa Linux I don't know why it crashed but it crashed so let's type in spacebar press enter to see video modes all this thing was uh, seen in the beginning of the video so same process I don't know why it crashed but I'm going to say it's better to start it in a live mode and try and use it for a, a few hours and then try to install it because it crashed to me maybe it should crash to you I don't know but it's better to use it in a live mode instead of uh, installation for a few hours if you are satisfied if you don't get any crashes or like encounters bugs all these things then you can go and install it and it's up to you if you want to install it or run it on a live mode it's totally up to you I'm not going to ask you or try to force you to install it again we see a mouse pointer I think there should be a few bugs because this is the latest version I guess 12.4 it may take a few seconds again the desktop with the KDV plasma logo downside on the right side of the uh, screen you can see here and in the middle the Rosa language uh, Rosa logo let's again change the display settings and uh, change the uh, wallpaper and few features check the features and end this video again let's change the display resolution let's keep it let's close this thing apply let's try to change the wallpaper and see what all the wallpapers are available here these are few wallpapers available around like uh, six wallpapers 
nothing more than that this is a dark, dark wallpaper and about folder view should be 3.0 let's close this and these are all the uh, pre-installed apps you will get on the rosa linux just a few apps because almost kde plasma desktop environment apps there's nothing different here uh, let's check the some desktop features here these are the quick system settings uh, a shortcut on the bottom side of the taskbar and this is a recycling bin I guess or a trash you can call it uh, here is an update of a Rosa Linux update a volume a same thing in uh, the KDE Plasma desktop environment and removable disk all this thing a uh, languages you can choose Russian or an English and the network connection uh, let's try to launch a few apps and check uh, the versions of our, uh, the four apps Dolphin version is 21.12.3 there are few apps so let's launch the important apps and finish this video let's quickly see on the internet side we already saw the uh, few apps let's open library office also on the sound and video Karen live Elisa let's try to open all the apps and see does it uh, crashes again we are seeing a lag here almost tucked the mouse pointer is working but the let's try to close it close it we already seen the version of audacity uh, telegram you need to start that it's better I uh, I'm, I'm I should go with uh, uh, opening a single single apps instead of opening all the apps at once these are the task manager it may take a few seconds to load this thing uh, instead of the opening or waiting for this let's quit it and let's uh, check the version of library office it's a bit of lag because we are open, opening a few apps at once and also the RAM, RAM consumption is also high already because in the beginning of the video it was almost like a 1.4 GB without running any apps the version is 7.3.7.2 let's close this thing everything was running good at the beginning and it started with a few bugs on the game side we have all the games and the uh, tool side you have almost uh, a few apps and these are few uh, common apps so let's check with the GIMP version and open the system monitor and let's end the video I think that's it uh, 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 available in the Linux in this Linux distro there's nothing more than this so it's better to uh, check all this and end this video the version of GIMP is 2.10.32 and that's all the apps you need to know because library of is important uh, GIMP was important color paint all this are not that much important audacity was important Kiran live was important so we ch check that too uh, let's check the system monitor and see how much resources are consuming and it's not also helpful because it was crashed so even it's crashed it's almost uh, 1.9 GB which is around 2 GB uh, in my opinion it's not uh, uh, this Linux distro is not suitable for uh, lightweight because it's almost a 2 GB just for uh, 3 to 4 apps at the beginning of the video it was almost a 1.9 GB a 1.4 GB but it crashed and after crashing also it's a 1.9 GB as you can see here and this is the user space so in my opinion it's not for a lightweight uh, if you want to try it you can try it and I always try it in a live mode in a virtual machine it's uh, good to try it in a live mode if the Linux distro is a uh, 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 if Linux distro has a live mode and install mode it's better to always go with the live mode first and test it if you uh, 
if you uh, if you like it you can go with it by installing it if you check it uh, everything works properly you can try to install it if not it's better to stay away with it because you don't want to ruin your pc just to test it so i think that's it and let's open the web browser and i'm going to show my channel uh, this part is only for the viewers who want to watch my content without subscribing uh, people who already subscribed you can uh, just skip it uh, you need to type in youtube.com slash or fallen slash 9 to 5 linux in your uh, web browser if you want to watch my content without subscribing no problem or uh, no uh, nothing to feel bad here like uh, if you don't subscribe it's up to you i'm not going to force you i'm not going to ask you because it's your opinion i respect it if you want to subscribe you can subscribe if you don't want it's up to you clearly up to you uh, if you want to go, uh, watch my content you can just type in youtube.com forward slash 9 to 5 linux in your web browser if you have an uh, app or in tv or tab or a mobile you can just uh, type in uh, 9 to 5 linux in a youtube app it will take directly to my channel which is uh, i'll show you in a few seconds this is the url you need to remember this is my channel uh, if you are here for the only the linux content you can just go to playlist and scroll down till you can see linux and under linux you go with uh, view full playlist and you should be have a full of a full playlist of linux videos i almost made a 1538 videos on linux distros i covered various linux distros different types of linux distros like almost 70 to 80% of the linux distros in this world i covered everything that uh, so you can, if you want you can play all or shuffle or go back or search here for your favorite linux distro or a specific term like example mx linux for example you can do that like that and you will be having the latest videos here this is the latest version i'll make uh, or a post latest videos of the linux distros when they are available right uh, right from they are available and i get a iso file then i will make a content on it so you don't need to worry about it again if you want to subscribe you can subscribe if you don't want it's up to you clearly up to you so i'm going to post two videos daily so i mentioned here i'll post the videos daily and here is a community tab i may uh, always provide the info of uh, latest package info or the latest distributions info like a news uh, what distros are released what uh, packages are released i will be providing in community if you want you can uh, be active in the community uh, this is the timings of when i post the content the content will be available before the timings because i'll put it in a premiere so you will be having enough i having an idea of what i'll uh, make that day and make what content i'll make that day so these are the timings uh, if you are a, a person who don't want to subscribe you should come this uh, you should watch my content at this time and the content will be available at that time so i think that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out let's shut it down i think i covered everything so let's shut it down